hi everyone in this video we are going to discuss what are the new apis added to the string class in java 11 all right in this video tutorial we'll explore and use all these new apis with an example here are the list of apis or methods added to the string class in java 11 so the first method is repeat method so as the name suggests so repeat method repeats the string content all right so let me just uh, go through these list of APIs uh, added to the string class in Java 11 quickly and later we'll see the usage of all these newly added APIs with an example. So repeat method as name suggests repeat method return, repeats a string content and strip. So strip method returns a string with all leading and trailing white spaces removed strip leading method returns a string with all leading white space removed and strip trailing so this method returns a string with all trailing white spaces removed is blank method returns true if the string is empty or contains only white spaces otherwise it returns false lines method returns a stream of lines extracted from the string separated by line terminators all right so these are the newly added apis to the string class in java 11 and let us see the usage of all these new apis added to the string class with an example so let's see the usage of a repeat method so as name suggests repeat method repeats a string content and repeat method returns a string whose value is the concatenation of string repeated n times where n is passed as a or parameter for example string input java so here is java is a string and we are repeating this java string twice here by using repeat method and here we are passing the integer as a parameter to the repeat method and here we are just passing two two means we can repeat this string twice and here is a guide is another string and here we are using repeat method to repeat these guide strings three times look at here we are passing 3 as a parameter to the repeat method and here is the output so java is repeated twice and guides repeated three times all right so let us see this example in action using eclipse id so make sure that you have installed jdk l1 your machine and you need to add a java l1 to the class path of your java project so that you can able to use a newly added api to the string class in java 11 and also you, you, you are able to compile uh, these newly added apis in a java 11 all right so look at here we are using repeat method to repeat the java string two times and guides is the another string and we are repeating guides string three times and here is the api this is another string and we are repeating four times so we can also add one more string here like uh, tutorials so i am going to repeat tutorial string five times by using a repeat method here i am going to pass for you as uh, argument so let's go ahead and let's run this Java program quickly. And here we go. So look at the output here. Java string is printed twice. Guides string printed three times. And API is string printed four times. And tutorial string repeated five times. All right. So this is one of the usage of repeat method. So it's very important method we can use whenever we want to repeat a string all right let us see the usage of strip strip leading strip trailing methods basically we use these methods to remove a leading and trailing white spaces from the string so let us see uh, usage of these methods with an example so look at here the input so input has some uh, new line characters tab and question mark here and we are going to use strip strip leading strip trailing methods to remove a leading and trailing white spaces from this string all right so look at here we are using strip method to remove 
are leading in trailing white spaces and we are printing the output of this strip method to the console here and here we are using strip leading method to remove leading white spaces and here we are using uh, strip trailing method to remove a trailing white spaces all right so let's go ahead and let's run the program right click run a java application and look at the output here hello so this strip method printed hello and it will remove it it has removed all the leading and trailing white spaces from the hello string okay and the string leading is just you know removes the leading white spaces from the hello string and strip trailing method just removes a trailing white spaces from the hello string and here is the output okay so let us see the usage of is blank method so is blank method returns true if the string is empty or contains only white spaces otherwise it returns false so let us see the usage of is blank method with an example so look at here the input string with some space here is the new line character tab and white space all right so we are going to use is blank method to check whether the string is empty or only contains a white space and this is blank method returns true if the string is empty or contains only white spaces otherwise it returns false all right let's go ahead and let's run this piece of code so it should return true because this string contains a white space so this is how we can use is blank method to check whether the string is empty or contains only white spaces all right let us see the usage of lines method lines method returns a stream of lines extracted from a string separated by line terminators for example so look at the input string so input string is this is a multi-line string and this string contains a line terminators that is slash n so this is a new line character right and here we are using lines method to just you know it just returns a stream of lines extracted from a string separated by this line terminator all right and here we are just iterating over a stream object and we are printing a lines to the console here and here we are just counting the lines by using lines and count method let us see this example in inaction using eclipse id all right so let me run this program and let us see the output so look at the output here this is a multi-line string and here we we have used a line terminator to separate out the string and we are just counting the number of lines by using count method here so in our case it is three because here are the three lines all right that's why it is printed three and here we are just using line terminators to separate out uh, the string so whenever we run this program this will give output like this okay and look at here the output this is this is a multi-line a multi-line and string string all right so this is the usage of lines method all right so these are the newly added apis to the string class in java 11 all right so subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish such videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video